Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Hop back that like button for me. All right. Today, we're going to talk about the Philippines entry regulations, requirements, and all that good stuff. All right. So, this was updated June 15th. Uh, fully vaccinated travelers can now enter the Philippines without having a present negative COVID-19 test result if they can show proof of complete vaccination. Uh, unvaccinated or partially vaccinated individuals need to present a negative test result from a administrated mandatory test taken within 24 hours from departure time okay so two days before your departure time take your test and have that ready um, before you could upload it you can you could well the physical you can probably take it um, I know your I know your card you can upload it uh, the Philippines is also replacing one health class system with another one called e-travel platform this browser-based system features an easy and shorter registration process so travel travelers no longer need to download and install an app on their phones. Follow the Philippines Department of Tourism or contact the Philippines Bureau of Immigration for the latest advice. Yeah, I remember I remember seven months ago when I came, I had to do the one health pass and I had to have a screenshot. It was a QR code. I remember that one. <laughs> List of documents for you to travel to the Philippines. Valid passport. And it has to be valid. It has to be uh, current. More than six months before you're traveling. Full vaccination status. English and documents for passengers 15 and older. Alright, let's read this right here. Children below 15 years old who are unvaccinated, partially vaccinated, should follow the quarantine protocols um, of the parents. Negative RT-PCR test taken within 24 hours for unvaccinated or partially vaccinated travelers. Travel insurance not required, but highly encouraged. It's highly encouraged because if if uh if they have to put you on quarantine or stuff like that and you you have to uh, have expenses for you know hospital health care whatever <clears throat> it's gonna be out of pocket so but it's up to you if you if you bother and you got the money go ahead <laughs> let it rain <laughs> um yeah this is a travel update by the way i'm uh i'm gonna do some more of these for next month I'm gonna do another one once once it pops out I'm gonna go ahead and drop that video keep y'all posted on the latest uh, travel updates here so make sure you subscribe all right let's go here uh, return an unwarranted ticket which indicates the date of departure from the Philippines not later than 30 days from arrival date okay okay uh, right here if you go to the channel of playlist, go to Survivor Series Tips and Ideas. The second video right here is says $16 can get you in the Philippines. That one, there's a website there that I provide and it gives you a, basically it's like a temporarily uh, onboard pass. Now that one you can show there and whenever you show it, it's going to show that you have a returning ticket. You know, you only pay $16, you can use your debit card and that you can use that. For example, in my case, I was going to come, but I wasn't going to return back home. You know, I was going to stay here. I was going to get married and all that. So that's what I did. I spent 16 bucks and that's that's all. Now you can use that and it's going to be able to save money. You know, it's going to save you money. So take advantage of that. Watch the video, guys. Also, the new playlist go, go, is called 13A Visa Requirements and Process. Uh, the first video, it tells you the requirements and all that. 
So watch that video. Once you get your affair a bit, watch the how to get your legal capacity to contract marriage. Watch that video. Uh, once you marry and all that, you have to be here six months, and then you're gonna go apply for your 13A visa. Go ahead and watch the list. That way, you know, get your knowledge up. All right. So, and then the last one is registration to an e-travel card within 72 hours uh, prior to departure from port of embarkation. All right, so make sure, make sure you have all your requirements uh, before, before you take off, all right? So this uh, website also shows step one application, it gives you the steps. Step two, pre-departure, gives you all the steps. Number three, number four on arrival, what to do. And number five, you stay in the Philippines, self-monitor for symptoms, ETC. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna leave the link. I'm gonna leave the link for this on the video. And copy the URL, I'm gonna leave it there. The website is called Make Your Asia. And it's a Asia blog and it articles to Make Your Asia group. Okay, so I'm going to leave the link in the comments. That way you can go and read through it. You know, uh, that way it can help you. Now, uh, hopefully I helped you, you know, understanding a little bit more. And it was my pleasure to make a video for you. So, um, I hope I'll see you next time. Next time I'm going to have another travel update. We're going to talk about this more. So, thank you for the ones that are watching. Always, thanks. I park that like button, give it a thumbs up, and till next time, guys. Safe travels to the Philippines, alright? <laughs> Ta-da, let's go.